So today, we will learn about trigonometry. Alam ko, maraming nahihirapan dito pagdating sa trigonometry. I tried to explain this one in, in Tagalog, pero mahirap talaga siyang um, i-explain na Tagalog lang, pero gagamitin ko na lang yung Taglish. Minsan Tagalog, minsan English, kasi mahirap i-translate yung technical words. Okay, let's define trigonometry. In mathematics, trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies the sides and the angles of the triangle. Let's consider this triangle. Triangle A, B, C. Okay, in trigonometry, we will find the angle A, angle B, and angle C. And then, we have the length of the side AB and the length of the side BC and the length of the side AC. Trigonometry is derived from the Greek word trigono means triangle and metron, metron means measure. So in short, measure of a triangle. Okay. How about application to real life? For example, you would like to measure the height of the building. At andito ka na, andito yung uh, point kung saan ka nakatayo. Okay, from this point and, the, and then going to the top of the building, you form here an angle of elevation. Knowing that, let's assume that the distance from this point to this point is given okay by applying the trigonometric functions we can find the height of the building let's consider this right triangle triangle a b c all right so the longest side of a right triangle is called hypotenuse hypotenuse it is the longest side and it is the opposite of the right angle Remember, this is the right angle and it is the opposite of the 90 degrees angle. And we have the two sides. We have the adjacent and the opposite. Adjacent, if we have the angle X, it's here, consider the angle X. And the side here is the adjacent. And the opposite side, it is here, opposite. Okay, a right triangle has hypotenuse and the two legs. There are six basic trigonometric functions. We have the sine, cosine, secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent. So sometimes, hindi natin sila makabisado, yan may tinatawag tayong mnemonic. Meron tayong nagawang mnemonic out of these trigonometric functions. We can form the trigonometric ratios and meron tayong tinatawag na SOKATOA. SOKATOA, it may help us in finding the angle, one of the angles of the triangle or one of the sides of the triangle. Remember, these basic trigonometric functions are applicable for right triangle. Okay, mostly for the right triangle. Okay, if it's hard for you to memorize all the trigonometric functions, you can use this mnemonic, so katoa. Okay, so ngayon, try po natin uh, isosolve at kukunin natin, uh, hahanap, o oh, isosolve natin kung ano nga ba ang value ng x. Dito muna tayo, first example. We're going to find the value of x given that this angle is 43 degrees and this is a right triangle it has a right angle which is 90 degrees this symbol ito po yung symbol na to is for 90 degrees angle all right yung pinaka longest side of the triangle is hypotenuse and the unit is 12 and the measure is 12 okay so we will use so sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse sine 43 okay 
you just replace this symbol theta to 43 degrees okay you just write sine and then 43 degrees equals opposite you see what is the opposite of 43 degrees it's here x you write x and then adjacent i mean sorry hypotenuse is 12 so you write here over 12 and then you just multiply sine 43 times 12 is equal to 8.1 unit that is the answer that is the value of x now this is 8.1 now let's go to this second example we will apply cosine function okay tingnan niyo po yung hypotenuse here it's unknown kailangan po natin uh, isosolve kung ano nga ba ang, ang value ng x and then given that the, the value of this angle is 27 degrees so we'll use cosine the given here is adjacent okay adjacent over hypotenuse which is x and the cosine theta which is replaced with cosine 27 degrees equals 5 okay adjacent here replaced with 5 because adjacent is 5 units and then it's over hypotenuse you see here it's unknown you, you just write x and then finding the value of x is just you divide 5 divided by cosine 27 degrees you will get 5.6 units now how about tangent function okay tingnan nyo naman yung opposite ng uh, 38 degrees is x and then uh, measure of adjacent is 10 so opposite and adjacent so we'll apply towa tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent tangent theta this is 38 degrees equals x the opposite you just write your x over 10 10 it is the measure of the adjacent side of this angle all right so finding the value of x just multiply tangent 38 degrees by 10 you will get 7.8 units so that is the value of x now here x the opposite of 38 degrees so yun lang po muna guys so if you want to continue learning so just click the subscribe button and don't forget to like my videos and also subscribe na rin and click the notification button so that you will be updated if ever mag-upload ako ng other videos. Bye! Thank you for watching!